Hello, guys. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Are you tired? Yeah, I feel yeah, tired. Think... Yes. But, but I, I'm I, here. <laughs> Thank you. I can feel your attitude. You are so excited. I I can hear your your tone of voice. But don't worry. This is just uh, one hour and then we're finished. That's the problem, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to sh show you, sorry, to share my screen. This guy is okay. Okay, please let me know if you can see. Can you? Yes. Okay, excellent. So I need your recommendations. You will be like my doctors today. So I have sore throat and maybe I think I have flu. So I need that you give me some recommendations. How can I do? What can I do to get better soon? Can you tell me maybe, uh, Marilyn? Hey, hello, teacher. Hello. I think that you have soap medicine. And you have to, to do some exam. And try to sleep. Okay, thank you, Marilyn. And what do you think about this, Neftali? I have sore throat and... Uh, hi, good hi. night, teacher. Good evening. Um, good evening. Um, a recommendation you should go to the doctor because you feel a little, a little heal. And if you don't go to the doctor, maybe you you should have problem. Then. Okay. Thank you. And what do you think, Jose? Can you talk? Okay, in my opinion, uh, you should take uh, pills because he is fire. How do you say fiebre? Fever. Fever. Okay, thank you, Jose. So I ask you this because we're going to talk about should, but not like should in the in the other way, like in the I think two classes ago. We are going to started this one but in another way okay so uh, let me see omar help me read okay sure we use should for recommendations and prescriptions for illness example i am sick i feel tired and i have headache you should drink a hot tea and go to a doctor. Okay, thank you. Healness, that's the pronunciation, healness. Okay, so 
we use also should for recommendations and pres pres prescriptions, okay? They are like advices, but like in the, in a health way, I, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe more related to illness, to your like physical, physical recommendations, I would say. Like do exercise and take a pill, something like that. Okay. So we have an example here. I am. Sick. It's not the same. About what? The last one that we saw? Yeah, it's not it's not the same uh, than advice. Mm, it's it's I mean it's like synonym but we are going to talk uh, or we are going to refer to recommendations as talking about illness and advice it's like more general for this topic for this topic no no i i am not saying that that's true that's a fact that recommendations it's just for medical topics we are going to use or we are going to difference the advice between recommendations because we are going to use recommendations just to talk about uh, like more in a medical way mm -hmm. okay so this is an example. I am sick. I feel tired and I'm I have a headache. Maybe this is person A and this is person B given a recommendation, okay? You should drink a hot tea and go to the doctor. Like a recommendation. You got it? So teacher. Yes, tell me. Illness is the same sickness. Mm -hmm. Because you, you say you are sick. You are talking sick. about something that make you feel bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have here the positive structure. Let me see. Natalie, help me read it. Uh, positive structure. You plus you plus bear plus complement. For example, I have running nose. You should blow your nose on them. You should wash your hand. Okay, thank you. So you are going to use, you are always going to use first the subject and next to the subject, the modal verb should, okay? Then the verb to be. The, sorry, a verb. If you if you use to after should, it's wrong. Okay. Should to blue, it's bad. Should blue, it's it's okay. It's the same case here. Should to wash, bad. Should wash, it's okay. Got it? And obviously a compliment. I have runny nose. You know what's the meaning of runny nose? When I'm I am allergic. Uh huh. And you always need a tissue. A, this is a tissue. Okay, to blow your nose. Very good example. So um, let me see, Jose, can you give me an example of should used to give recommendations? Well, um, Maybe using a headache. I had it.
You, you choose, you choose a take a ceraminophel. Excellent. You should, you should. Can you repeat? You should take. Uh -huh. You should take. Without T, uh, two. You should take. Excellent. Oh, and the verb has to be in the base form. You cannot change the base form. The, the form of the base of the verb and sorry that's not positive that's negative this is a negative structure so let me see Marilyn help me read yeah. <clears throat> negative instruction you plus show not shouldn't plus verb plus complement. Example, I have flu, but I want to go to the party. You shouldn't go to the party. You should stay home and get rest. Thank you. So in for for negative sentence, we are going to use or we are going to add not after the modal verb should or the contraction shouldn't and shouldn't. Got it? The verb in the base form and if you want a compliment. I have flu, but I want to go to, to the party. You shouldn't go to the party. You should stay home and get rest. Can you give me an example, um, Neftali? You shouldn't go to play basketball. Or you shouldn't, you should not. Mm, wash your hand. Okay, you shouldn't. Wash your hands or should. You should not take a shower because you have you have flu. Oh okay, excellent. Very good job. <laughs> <It's a man>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot. Oh sorry. So I have here a um, I don't know if you have any any other example or maybe questions, doubts about the topic. Yes, no. All the structure is the polite form. Mm. Oh, is the is the no isn't um common for and it's common talking talking about uh other people for example um uh, I can use that structure when when talk when I'm talking or my house in maybe my father. Teacher, mute. Thank you. Sorry, it, I I I'm having problems with with my internet and my my in Zoom. So, uh, I think should for this type of topic about illness or sickness, uh, the modal verb should. It's not like colloquial or or formal way to 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 say something. You just use it and just that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like in the middle. 
it's I think it depends on the on the context because a doctor, if you are talking with a doctor, the conversation becomes uh like more formal. But if you are talking with your father, even if you are using should, this which is the same modal verb that a, a doctor can use. If you are talking with your father, with your brother, the recommendations will be like, like easier or maybe uh, more common. So it depends on the context, Omar. Just give me a second. I don't know if you say something. I couldn't hear you, but give me a second. Give me a second. Can you hear me? Yes. But well or kind of bad? Well, very well. Ah, okay, okay. So it's maybe Omar's problem. Thank you. So if you don't have any other doubt, we can practice. Okay, so you are going to work in pairs, but give me a second. I'm going to share the link with you. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, I. Uh, should should you you use should for only recommendation where when you are sick. Or you you should for different kind of question. We we use uh, should also for another type of uh, recommendations like advices. Uh, for example, uh, maybe a situation can be I have I have uh, to save money to uh, to buy a house. But also, I want to buy a car. So, what should I do? So you see, it's an about yeah. save money. Uh, I have an example. Okay. Uh, the government should improve the school. Very good example. Very good example, uh, Neftali. Okay. So yes, you can you can use should for any other type of, of advice. Mm -hmm. So guys, I don't know if you can see my screen. Can you? Yes. Okay. Yes, you too. And sorry to turn off my camera, but I think this can help to to hear to hear you better because I am having problems with the connection. So the only thing that you have to do is to select. This is just to learn vocabulary, okay? So let me see. Uh, Marilyn, A, B, C, or D, or one, two, three, or four, because I hear better if you say numbers. Uh, number four. Four. Excellent. Omar, next one. Read okay. it and then select. Number three. Read, read the sentence. I have a two page, maybe. Two sake. Two sake. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could tell. 
eh, Neftalí. Let it be. I have a stomach cake. Stomach cake. Excellent. José. Mm, little. Hey. Can you read the, the sentence? I have an Erich. 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 Okay. Uh, Marilyn. The... Number one. It's like the same of flu. Okay, Neftali. Oh, I have caught. Let us see. Very good job, Omar. I have a sore throat. Uh, number one or letter A. Excellent. Jose. I have a temperature. Okay. Let it be. Let it be. <laughs> the song, right? Excellent. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Nestalí. I feel sick. Let it see. No, it's this one. Sick, like in a general way. And Marilyn. I feel dizzy. There be. Okay. Thank you. Do you know what's the meaning of that? Maria. Oh, but in English. Can you give me an example? It's been, it's been, it's been hell, maybe. Okay. Like when you uh, are in the, or ride the, the, the roulet wheel or the Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. So very good job. You learn, you have a lot of vocabulary about health and illness. So now you are ready. Work on it. I have a question. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. In in these words and in a h maybe headache the the ch or the ch is mute. Headache. No, it's like a uh, K. Headache. Like this. Headache. Oh, headache. Stomach cake. Or headache. Or yes. uh, what else? Toothache. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> yes, you have to practice a lot this pronunciation. Ache. 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 Headache. Did you just okay. join? The words head ache, head ache. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. thank you. Okay, so easy. You just have to say something, say the 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 illness, and you are going to give some advice or some recommendations. Got it? For example. This one. What's that? What's the name of this illness? Mm -hmm. Maybe it, it is about this throat. Mm, but I don't say, I don't know say. It's sore throat. 
sore throat. And yes. Sir, yes. Sir, sir throat. Sore. Mm -hmm. Sore throat. So then you are going to give a recommendation. What can I do to feel better or to get better soon? Okay. So you are working here. And break up room. Okay. So please do it. Join. And Nelson, we just use a should to give recommendation. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Your classmates uh, will help you, so don't worry. Yeah, good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, for for the example, okay, uh, maybe you should rest all the day. Just, uh, you should stay at home, then drink a cup of tea. Is delay flu. flu? Okay, so remember you have to say the name and then give recommendation. Okay. okay. Yes. This is okay. I don't understand. Maybe he has teacher. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. You can hear me? Yes. Okay, I. I don't understand with the exercise. Oh, you just have to first say the name of the illness, for example. For example, here is a flu. So then you give, you give recommendations like, oh, you have to drink hot tea, you have to take pills, you have to blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. Like a doctor, I would say. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. You, you take a pill. Yeah. Yeah. Drink a tea. Maybe. Yes, but you should. The structure is he should uh, drink uh, a hot tea or some hot tea. Okay. Oh. 
Şöyle. Yusuf şöyle. Okay, teacher. I understand. You should go to the pharmacy and buy some some pills and stay at home. You should go. Uh, you should go of a doctor or of the to the hospital, maybe. Okay, next. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. exercise or you should not go to the gym okay he told to go to chiropractor 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 is yes oh, what do you say Chiropractor or chiropractor? Chiro. Key. Key. Ah, okay. Chiro. Chiro. Chiropractor. Uh, temperature. Temperature. Uh, maybe you have to take a shower and to drink some aspirin. Uh -huh. What do you think? You should poop. No, you should go. You should. In how 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 do you say injectarse in a vacuna vacuna vaccine vaccine yeah y ponerse uh. inject vaccine You should inject vaccine. Okay. Another one. This is a um, sore throat. So true, so true. You choose applicate. <clears throat> you should you should apply men, mental mental 
in in your true you should drink a tea. You should drink a tea with and you should Genji. keep a warm. <laughs> You should, you should try talk slow. Okay, another. Back. Yeah, they know you. Back. is. Did you finish, guys? Hello? Did Hello, you finish? Teacher. We have problem with the internet connection, teacher. You can hear me clear. Yes, I can. Now I can, but like 10 minutes ago, I couldn't. So maybe you are the ones that has problems. Uh, teacher, you should you should share your screen. Okay. Computer. I will do it. I will do it. Just give me a second. Because we are in cell in cell phone. Okay, I will do it. Don't worry. Give me a second. Let me know if you can see my screen. Okay. 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 Okay, do you or can you? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if you already talk about this one, uh, you just Tell me next one or something like that. Uh, you should uh, go to the pharmacy and and buy a panadol and drink for the headache. Teacher, the teacher is Hedas or Irash? Irash. Irak. Irak. About an Irak. Uh -huh. Irak. Oh, okay. Yeah. She should to go to the medic with the medic. You should. You should not go to work. Oh, okay. Who is the special specialist with the ear it is? I don't know the name. Sorry, sorry. 
it's um I forget Otorrino, I think, but I am not sure. Sorry. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Can you can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, maybe for for that example, uh, I don't know. I think the only recommendation. Yes, it is. Only... It's it's. I will put the 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 name, but the name it's hear noise uh, nose and throat specialist. So we don't have like a translation. It's E N T E N T specialist because the here e no uh, E N T ah, okay. specialist. Give me a second. I am typing it. Uh, specialist because yeah, he specialist. ear noise nose and. Is uh, is uh, otor, uh, otor... otorrino naringólogo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so ENT specialist. It's more easy. Yes. In English. <laughs> yes, it is. It is in... Come on. It's oh, we have we have we have the same word in English, but I don't know the pronunciation. Is auto Otolaryngologist, like oh. that. <laughs> but you, you, you can say ENT specialist. One more, and you, and we come back to the main session, okay? Okay. Okay, for that example, maybe I think she has she has a temperature. Okay. Yes, it is fever. Fever. Okay, for for this example, maybe I think she she should rest all the day and after go to the doctor. She should she should not go to the school and she should take a nap in at home. Okay. She should to she should to get to get an injection. No. One more, guys. Just a, that one. Ah, okay. Is she? Is she all to go to the toilet? <laughs> Okay. No. no. Yes, you can you can say that one. Maybe she should she should not eat drink milk. Can you hear me guys? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Teacher, can, okay. She, he, or, sorry. He should drink a uh, Coke, maybe, for a remedy. 
Okay. He chose to go to the hospital. Um, and drink a lot he, of water, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe he should drink a coke, a coke, or maybe drink yeah, lemon juice. Uh, maybe he should to go to the go to teacher. What do you say, Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> I think in the uh, United States doesn't has uh, have this type of specialist. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only only in the Salvador. Yes. Maybe you have empacho. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, uh, guys, uh, thank you for your participation. Uh, we are going to come back to the main session, and I'm going. I am going to give you feedback. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sure. Excellent. So, uh, just a short feedback. Give me a second. It's that correct? Should you drink? No, because only use the verb in the base form. Okay. So that means that, but the verb is in the main, in the base form. What's the problem here? Two. Aha. Uh -huh. So you don't have to add two because that's a modal verb. For any other uh, type of verb, you you have to use it, but for modal verbs you can't. Okay, maybe like this. I want to drink a uh, coffee. Here you can use it, but with modal verbs, no. The unique uh, unique exceptions are need to and have to. Okay. Um, what else? It's that correct? Correct. Go to the school. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, Omar, I can. Okay, I was talking, but I I don't know. I don't know, hear, hear me. Yes. Oh, no, in, no, no. In, in the past, in no. In the room. Um, I don't remember, Omar. Okay. Well, but I think is that correct? Okay, do you think it's correct? What about the rest? What do you think? I think is that correct because we use the <laughs> go to go to the school. Mm, I don't know, maybe that that correct because go the go. This the school, uh, mm, the grammatic. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you remember that we don't say the people if you are talking in a general way? We just say people. Do you remember that? 
Yeah. That's the same case. Go oh. to school, it's like in general. If you talk about a specific school, like go to uh Academia or Escuela Britannica, I think, I think it's the name. So British school, let's suppose that's the name, to the British school. So now you are having a specific name. Got it? So we, we just say go to school, go to school. Or like the same of go to church. Okay. Got it? Okay. Is that in general? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I got you. Okay, excellent. And to take to say to inject, you can use inject a vaccine, or if you are talking a um a injection. Because you cannot say inject an injection. It's like very, very wrong. The inject an injection, it's bad. So you can use a synonym. Inject a shot. Okay. But that's a shot. It's colloquial. Okay. So inject a shot, it's okay, but in a colloquial way. Got it? Yeah, maybe uh, the example inject an injection, maybe something like that, Sanchez said, eh? <laughs> I saw the same, but I wanted to, to, to say that, but yes, it's very <laughs> uh, Sanchez. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah, maybe for the the correct form of for the correct the correct example is inject a vaccine. Oh, but vaccine and injection, vaccine. it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So that's why instead of injection, you can use shot because vaccine and injection are not the same. Vaccine is a, is a general. Like COVID. Maybe. No, no. Yeah. It's no. the same of vacuna e inyección. They are not the it's same. More, it's more specifically back vaccine for a specifically infection, maybe. The thing is, vaccines are like for COVID, like a very, like pandemic infection. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like viruela. Oh, okay. Things like that, okay? Okay. And finally, the name of Otorrino Naringologo, it's ENT Specialist. Okay? Because ear, nose, and thought. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. There is a otorhinolaryngologist, but it's too mm -hmm. difficult. It's difficult in Spanish. Don't I now imagine it in, <laughs> in English? So you can use ENT. E -T. Got it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, so. I don't know if you have any doubt about this topic. Teacher, uh, I don't have clear the example of the injection, sorry. What is the correct? What is, what is, what is, what is the correct form? Injection or, or, vac or, or, or vaccine or about shot? Maybe inject. Oh, oh, sorry. What is the correct form uh, when talking about when I when I I have maybe a 
an infection, what is what is the correct example? What is the correct form for talking uh, about I when I I need an injection? If you are talking about uh, like a flu or a ear inject a uh, infection, you can use injection because it's oh, okay. like simpler. The the illness is simpler. Oh, okay. Um, okay, okay. We use okay. vaccines to like more invasive or massive like pandemics in uh, illness like COVID. When, when is global? Mm -hmm. Okay. Global yeah. and yeah. hard and cost like death, you know, the illness kill a lot of people uh, at the same time, like COVID, like influenza. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. So any other doubt? Teacher. Yes, Nelson. Uh, the, what do you say? Injects, injects a shot, a shot. Inject a shot. Inject a shot. Mm -hmm. I will put it. Only, only say shot is, is uh, shot I, like sh so inject a shot shot inject or a sh shot, shot. uh-huh inject a shot yeah. like a shot uh, or inject a shot mm -hmm. okay i think that's all guys uh, just please work on the platform uh, advance on it because you are almost finishing your your brain too so because you know it's kind of hard to be at the end of the course completing all the, the platform i recommend you to advance now okay you have to fill to 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 end a unit four i think yes unit, un, we are in unit four no, give me a second. I don't remember. Unit Sorry. five. Yes, right. Sorry, I have a lot of, uh, I have four classes. So they are in different units and I, I forget. But yes, we are in unit five. So that's why you have to finish maybe... I think Thursday, Thursday, you have to finish the, 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 the platform, but we are going to have the, the final test here in the class, okay? So the unit okay, thing Tisha. that you won't do it alone, it's to take the test. If okay. you if you already took the test, don't worry. But if not, wait. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. so that's all for the class, uh, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys. See you tomorrow, teacher.